Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. We are excited to do this video. Uh, it's a very long awaited video about our tiny wood stove. Uh, you guys have had a bunch of questions, so we're here to answer them for you. Uh, give you the specs on the stove and uh, how it's been going for us so far. Alright, so we'll jump right in. So the company we bought from was Cubic Mini Wood Stoves. Really great company. Uh, the one that we got was the actual Cubic Mini. I think it's the smallest one that they have. Uh, we paid about $3.50 for it. I, they were having a sale during that time of the year. So it worked out really well for us. I'd say the only downside is the shipping time. It took probably around six weeks for us to get it. And there is the size. You can see it's 12 inches high, 12 inches wide. The door is about 6 inches wide and 5 inches tall, so you have to be conscientious about the log size uh, that you put in there. We kind of try to cut the logs to just fit in the door. <laughs> the wood stove has an adjustable air intake gap, um, so if we want the fire to be like a roaring fire, we just leave that gap all the way open. But if we want the fire to burn longer, uh, we'll do what Clint was just doing just kind of start to close that gap and then that allows less oxygen to get into the wood stove so the fire can burn a lot longer so it's a cool feature uh, for the wood stove to have being tiny um, it's neat that we can do that all right so this is the setup of our tiny wood stove and here's the outside of it so the backer that we have uh, to protect the combustible things, uh, Clint made this. So he made it out of galvanized steel um, that's used for duct work for like 10 bucks at Home Depot. And he just bent it um, so that it would have a one inch air gap around it. And that way uh, the wood in the back will be protected. And the same thing for the stack too then. We put a couple of tiles underneath the stove, um, just because that's a, a little metal table underneath. And the tile kind of helps the heat to keep away from the things inside of the drawer. We keep stuff for the fire in there, so kind of blocks the heat a bit. We also keep a small metal pot on top just because wood stoves tend to take out a lot of moisture from the air, so we kind of put the moisture back in the air by this little pot filled with water and we just fill it up every day. So the pipe was originally that silver um, being galvanized pipe, but we wanted it to match the stove. Um, so we got a heat paint, a black heat paint, and just painted it. Um, to match better with the stove. We think it looks pretty cool. We use single wall galvanized steel and we did that basically so that more heat would radiate into the place and we used a caulk um, heat caulk to uh, basically seal them up so no creosote or smoke would get out. Maintenance of the tiny wood stove is really easy. Every few days we just kind of shovel the ashes out and uh, clean up the inside a bit. We try to keep the glass kind of looking nice so we can see inside. And that's our stove. We love having it. It does a good job and it just looks really cute. So <laughs> thanks for joining us again. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, we appreciate your guys' support. Um, take care.